up and welcome to Stacks and Stuff. I hope everybody out there is having a great day today. Now, I always like to start things off by thanking each and every one of you for stopping by and watching. But if you happen to be new to my channel and you like what you see, consider hitting that red subscribe button down there. I'm going to be making a lot more videos and I always love to have new people along for the ride. All right, today we're going to be taking a look at this first aid kit from World War II. But first, a little background on the United States Aeronautical First Aid Kit. During World War II, all military aircraft carried this first aid equipment. In the case of a fighter or small bomber aircraft, the packet first aid parachute was attached to the parachute webbing of each crew member. On larger aircraft, such as cargo planes or aircraft carrying paratroopers, one or more larger first aid kits were also installed on the aircraft for emergency use. The kit first aid aeronautical was constructed with four lift the dot fasteners, also known as LTD fasteners. Four LTD fasteners were fastened to all four corners. LTD studs were permanently attached to the aircraft's fuselage bulkhead, so the first aid kit could be easily snapped down or pulled off for use. The kit first aid aeronautical would usually include these items. Bandages and dressings such as cotton, gauze, and adhesive bandages. Medical supplies including antibiotics, morphine, and iodine. Also medical implements such as scalpel, scissors, and thermometer. This thing here is 80 plus years old, so let's open it up and see what is inside. Okay, and we'll start off with this side compartment right here. I will unsnap it. Now, I want to be careful. I don't want to rip the canvas. There we go. But um, it's actually very well made and in decent shape. Check that out. This is actually really tough and it looks like we've got a bottle of water purification tablets nice check that out isn't that neat and there are the tablets and they look like they are in really good condition for their age. Check that out. Old bottle here from the 40s. Very cool. We will not be opening this bottle today. I do apologize but I'm sure you could understand why. I mean, it's in really good condition. Look at that. Wonderful stuff. All right. Now let's open the main compartment right here. That this thing is packed. Very cool. Would you look at that? I mean, where do we start? I guess we'll start up here. This here is a strap of some sort. Very cool. 
made in the USA. Nice, nice. And what are these? Large field brown first aid dressing, U.S. Army. Very cool, look at that. Check that out. Man, looks like we have two of these here. Yeah, very cool. In such great shape, let me tell you. We got a little, a little something, something here, but that's all right. Look at that. So two of those, and then we've got. Check that out. No way. Johnson and Johnson adhesive plaster. That is so cool. Man. So there we go. Set that here. Looks like we got a pair of scissors in here, which is very cool. A lot of times, sewing kits and first aid kits like this would have the scissors come up missing because they would uh, get taken out for whatever reason and used uh, most of the time uh, for other projects or other things and they would hardly ever get returned. Check that out. Very cool. And these here are in decent shape. A little bit of rust there, but very smooth. I'm sure you can hear that. Nice, very nice. And that's where the scissors would go. Snugly in here. Uh, they also would usually come with a scalpel. That will come right here. Now let's get into this. Start off right here. We've got boric acid ointment. Check out that box. And it looks like it's been wax coated, probably to help waterproof it. But this thing's pretty, uh, pretty smashed up. Very cool stuff. And we'll get into all this stuff eventually. I'm gonna open up these boxes, maybe not today. Next up, we've got dyed dressing. Bandages, gauze, adhesive. Very cool. We've got some instructions there. Isn't that neat? Awesome stuff. Open at opposite end. So I guess you would open it here. Very cool stuff. Love it, love it. And then we've got, I'm going to try to pronounce this, uh, Sol for diazine. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe this is a sort of antibiotic. And it looks like we got two tablets here, two grams. Check that out. When wounded, remove tablets and take both tablets at once. Tablets may be chewed. Man, that is so cool and in such great shape. Check that out. All right, next up. We've got some eye dressing. Look at that, isn't that neat? Cotton and gauze eye patch. 
Man, that is awesome. Again, in great shape. Now we got Okay, sulfonyl amide. Sulfonyl amide. Uh, again, I do believe this is some sort of antibiotic. And it looks like we've got a shake package of five grams crystalline or a shaker. So, um, yeah, they would shake this into the wound. It would help uh, disinfect it. Yeah, sprinkle evenly over wound before applying first aid dressing. Yeah, help with uh, healing it, help with keeping it clean. That is awesome. We got two of those. Again, a nearly perfect condition. Look at that. And last but not least, Sulfadiazine, again, a sort of antibiotic, and we've got tablets here. Very cool. Look at this package. That is so neat. Well, I'm, I'm really surprised. This kit had a lot in it. It is old and a lot of the time, a lot of these contents would come up missing, be used. Um, obviously the morphine is missing in here. I wonder why, but uh, a lot of the other contents were here and I am quite pleased. Well, this has been a lot of fun and I hope you guys had just as much fun as I had. With that being said, I would like to once again, thank each and every one of you for stopping by and watching. And like I said before, if you happen to be new to my channel and you liked what you've seen, consider hitting that red subscribe button down there. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos and I always love to have new people along for the ride. All right, guys, I'll be seeing you around on the streets of YouTube and until next time, take care.